Good evening boys and girls, this is Frame Trap Tom here, just going to do another video to explain ranges and priorities on normal moves. Uh, sticking with normal moves for now, the same does apply to specials, um, but specials tend to be a lot more dynamic and very, very uh, complex in comparison to normal moves when taking into account movement, things like uh, doing uppercuts and so on, they they move the character a lot, so we'll stick to normals on this one. Um, now this originally came from a tweet from... Uh, our resident Javits. Um, so he's comparing uh, Akuma and Laura's standing medium kick, trying to find the spacing for them to compare which one has more range. Uh, now, rightfully, he says, you know, you blocking last attack in the demonstration, he shows that if you're doing certain strings, then you end up with Akuma and uh, Laura both missing, but wanted to compare the ranges because he was curious. And then good old Tool Assistant comes out saying, well, actually, you've got Laura with a range of 100.45 units and Akuma with 1.33, but that's actually quite a lot of a difference there. 0.12 um, units is quite large. Um, so I wanted to actually go into this and see what else could be uh, taken into account when doing spacing of moves. So... In uh, the medium kick versions for Akuma and Laura, um, they are 1.43 and 1.33 in terms of their overall range, but that is from the origin of the character themselves. So let's look at this uh, bit by bit. We'll start with um, we'll start with Laura. So here on the top left, we've got Laura's uh, medium kick um, provided by good old tool assisted stiff tool. Uh, now, if we scroll along it, we can actually see the move being animated out there. But what's quite useful at the top left, we do have, uh, sorry, top right of the actual uh, pane itself. It does have the ranges from the origin of the character to the uh, range of the push box. Now, this is taking into account the offset from the origin as well. So Laura's push box here is five units wide, but it is one uh, point one unit sorry 0.5 units wide but it is 0.1 unit back so the overall is 0.4 so the calculations here are already done uh, same goes for the hurt box and for the throw box and any uh any particular hit that is on the screen will reflect its own range there but this is from the origin so the origin here needs to be taken into account we'll do a bit of math good old maths uh, when we come to that so from origin let's have a look the offset for laura is tiny it's it's 0 0.002 so it's two thousand for z unit we'll ignore that then we'll say that she's at uh, at zero the same goes for akuma he's only like 0 0.003 so negligible amount for the sake of this demonstration so laura at the start of her idle animation she is uh, 0 0.4 units uh push box forward she is 0 0.5 units for her hurt box forward uh, let's just take that into account so we'll do the same for akuma so he's 0 0.25 and 0 0.4 for his hurt box i'll just put her box just so we know which one's which excellent now this is important because the difference between these two will resolve any of the differences in the range from the active frames of the move. So going to the active frames of the move, we've got Laura's medium kick has a range of 0.53 from this cross in the middle, which is the origin of the character. Now moves in Street Fighter 5 are not only displaced from the character's origin, but also from where they started because the, the move does move Laura forward as it does with Akuma. So the actual physics box and positions are taken into account when we do the calculations. So we'll take the origin, which in this case for medium kick active frames is 0 0.09 or 0 0.9 uh, zero 02 we'll round it to two decimal places just because it's uh, a two we'll round it down for that one uh, plus the actual range of the move from the character's origin which in this case is 0 0.53 brilliant so that actually gives us a total of uh, 1.43 now keep in mind that laura does move a little bit so if we just scroll through what's the maximum that she gets to in her origin her origin moves forward to 0 0.92, so that does go up to about 
four, five, which is exactly what tool assisted said. So spot on there. Let's have a look at Akuma's. So Akuma again starts at 0 0.003. Let's not worry about that. That's negligible for this. And we go forward until the first active frame. And brilliant, range is 0 0.7. Uh, seven. So well, I'll do this in the right order, actually. So the origin is 0 0.62. So he has moved forward uh, 0 0.62 units. That's where the cross on the character is there. That's the origin of the character. And we'll add in the range of the hitbox, which is 0 0.7, which gives us a nice neat. Let's have a look. So that's uh, good old maths. 1.3. Uh, let's see, 0 0.6, 0 0.629. So we'll round that up to 0 0.63. So range is 1.33. Now that does have a little gap in it though. So that gap itself, we can discount a little bit because Akuma's hurt box is actually slightly thinner than, than Laura's. So take into account that the 0 0.4 versus 0 0.5 uh, difference. Well, if we take zero, uh, if we take these uh, two, two moves, so we got uh, Laura's move versus Akuma's move, that's only 0 0.1 difference. And uh, funnily enough, the actual distance between the hurt boxes, well, Laura's take Akuma's is 0 0.1. So they do cancel out, which means that the spacing of the move on the first active frame for these two on medium kick is exactly the same, like tiniest, like 10, 1,000th one, one of, of a degree uh, between them. But Laura does actually extend a little bit further. She does go up to uh, 1.924 uh, 9, there, which gives her the slight advantage. So let's plug this in there. So we got uh, 1.45, which gives us 1.12. Now, if we take that into account, when we're doing the difference, Laura does have a 0 0.02 advantage over Akuma. So technically speaking, if they were at the absolute maximum uh, range, uh, possible before they kind of stopped hitting each other from one of the moves, Laura would win because she just outspace him. So she could actually get into a range where her medium kick would work and Akuma's would, wouldn't work. Uh, this isn't taken into account the startup of the move as well because uh, they do start up in the same frames. So they could be at a spacing where Akuma and Laura initially miss on the first frame and then uh, two frames in, Laura's is in range to hit Akuma. So that does work in that scenario. Um, now, this is specifically for the sort of neutral game where you're, you know, poking and prodding at uh, at each other from a range where you expect it to hit. But origin is also important, as well as push box in different scenarios. So uh, that's the neutral game where everyone's trying to get the priority of their button to, to fit in and, and beat the other character out. So you can use these sort of calculations to do that. Now, when it comes to... Um, the origin, it might be that at the start of the round, you want to perk out a, a very long range move. Now, the uh, the hurt box displacement is very important because as the character moves forward to get their, their attack, their active frames to hit, uh, their hurt box is also forward. So that is important, but startup frames are technically more important in this situation because from the origin, each character is 1.5 units away from the center. So three units between them, the person with the longest reaching move is usually going to win. So you could have um, quite a classic one is uh, Geef would start doing an SPD at the beginning of the round if he thought that a character was going to, to leap forward like a step, step kick from Ken. Um, even though the step kick had technically got better range, uh, because Zangief did the, the standing SPD uh, from the get-go, the origin is important because he, he gets uh, Ken's grab box in that, in, in that situation. But scenario two, let's see, uh, you could start point blank, yes. So uh, when you are doing pressure on someone uh, after Oki knockdown, uh, you are technically either going to set up by jumping into them, in which case you're, you're doing a jump in, you are going to be point blank range, or like uh, Nikali has some setups off of a crush counter sweep, you can dash into them to, to make sure that you reset the distance between the two characters, in which case the push box is the essentially the origin for your calculations. So you would need to take into account the, in this case, 0 0.4 push box um, and 0 0.25 push box uh, between the two characters. Um, 
but that's basically it. The The idea is that you take the range of the hurt box versus the range of the active frames um, of the move and the, the origin offset as well because the character movements themselves. And in this case, uh, they are exactly the same on the first frame, but Laura beats it out two frames later, just two frames later. Um, and that's that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or you uh, want to see any more on uh, spacing specifically, um, do give me a shout. Uh, you can do it in the YouTube comments below, or you can hit it on Twitter with uh, frame traps, and I'll try and answer your questions. Cheers.